All right, take two, we're doing it. It's gonna happen today, hopefully. The weather looks a lot better. Steph's double checking on the weather cams and they're starting to look better than they were anyways earlier. I'm John from Fly 8 Mike Alpha, CFI turned airline pilot turned back to CFI. Come along on my journey, flying Alaska to Florida and beyond. Okay, today should be a much better day, hopefully. Right now, Steph's calling the briefer. I'm checking weather on the computer slash trying to catch up on some video editing. And here in Alaska, the weather maps, charts, whatever you want to call them, are not exactly the most helpful. Somewhere buried in this mess, you can kind of see the outline of Alaska, Kenai, right around where we are here. So yeah, basically we're just getting an idea of winds aloft. We have the cameras to look at, which are super helpful. Uh, but even the cameras only do so much because ultimately what we really have to do today is to go out of Anchorage right now, broken 300, so a little iffy, but it's better everywhere else. And then get out of Anchorage, fly through this pass here, Whittier Pass, and then get out over the water to where we should be able to fly low enough to avoid all the clouds and then cruise up into Valdez up there. So that's the game plan. I don't know about getting through Whittier. We have these awesome FA cameras all over the place. And right now, Whittier Pass, Portage Glacier is not looking so, so hot. I mean, obviously there's some stuff you can see. It's really, I don't know if it's doable or not really, but it gives you an idea of what direction you're looking at. Then it also compares with the clear day. That's kind of cool. And over towards Whittier, it's looking kind of worse. So I don't know how likely it is we're gonna make it through that pass, but one way or another, we are going to get out of here and we may just wind up flying a little bit further south, maybe all the way down to Saldovia to get around and then cruise up the coast on over to Valdez. Um, it is kind of late already again. We spent like four hours or more of video editing, so. Yeah. It's, uh, what is it, about 4.30 now. But hopefully we'll be in the air by 5.30 or so, get the airplane loaded up. And the weather's definitely improving. I mean, it's, well, not great, but it's improving. And I see blue sky, so the theory is possibly punching up through that blue sky. Which doesn't really mean anything from here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but if we can get above the clouds, if they're low enough, then maybe it'll be broken or scattered when we get to Valdez and we can get back down, hopefully. It is a good sign. There's a rainbow, kind of. I don't know if you guys can really see it. It's rainbow there. in the sky. So that is the direction we want to go, really. That way and all up in that direction. Doesn't look great. Doesn't look terrible. Uh, it looks very layered and cumulus-y, so it's uh, doable. We're gonna go <laughs> do what we usually do, which is just go look, because yeah. that's all you can do. So we're gonna load up the airplane and get going. <laughs> all right. All right, Steph's counting up how much we have to get us from Anchorage to Reno. So get those donations going. Because <laughs> <laughs> it ain't a lot. All right, I think we're as ready as we're ever gonna be. It's uh, fully loaded. <laughs> you ready? Oh boy. <laughs> this is not gonna work. Okay. Yes, it is. Oh no. She's worn them before. Uh, it is. Airplane mutt dog. Muffs. She hates those. <laughs> oh man. What do you think? Is that covering her ears? There's no, that's gonna slide right off. Oh. How cute is that? She does not like either of us right now <laughs> <laughs> for a change. Usually it's just me she doesn't oh, like, but. It's okay, Sia. It's for your ears. Mm hmm. She has no idea what you're talking about. She can't hear you. Yeah. All right, time to get out of here. We are securely wedged in here in the event of anything going wrong, we are totally screwed. <laughs> <laughs> and we brought everything, everything you can possibly imagine, except the survival backpack, because it couldn't quite fit. 
that was the one thing we decided, nah, we should leave this behind. We could live without it. Yeah, we got sleeping bags. I mean, we have everything tent. else that's actually real food, real sleeping bags, real survival yeah. shit. Yeah, totally. Got our eight ish cards. We're doing this legit. We're we gonna be safe. We got our briefing. We're all good. Guy's really beautiful right now. Hope it looks pretty going that way. Right? Let's hope. Oh, yeah. Eight is. Secure data information. K back 0153 Zulu. Wind calm. Weather conditions better than 5005. Temperature 11, dew point 07. Altimeter 2985. Where is this going to go to? How about there? None of us will know what the weather's doing. Get some safe taxi pulled up here. Woohoo! Roll. Well, it's moving. <laughs> it's, uh, it's feels heavy. heavier <laughs> than yesterday. <laughs> Luckily, I have a lot of experience hauling a bunch of freight for the restaurant. Yeah. Pretty good. Should be doable. That's all we care about. Yep. Can't believe it's actually happening. Yep. Can't believe that car didn't really stop for <laughs> us. <laughs> yeah, why don't you come a little closer there, bud? Actually happening. Actually happening. Well, I mean, Not we'll yet. find <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah, we'll find out here shortly once we have to fly towards that big uh, whatever buildup it is. Ah. Uh. I see lots of holes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, me too, ish. Lakehead Tower, Cessna 29 or 6 to Delta, holding short 322 to Rover Pass, Quebec. Number 29 or 6 to Delta, Lakehead Tower, runway 32, cleared for takeoff northbound. Cleared for takeoff 32, uh, is that a right turn to Rover Pass? Number 6 to Delta, right turn, not approved. Not approved, she said? Right turn, not approved. Not approved? Right turnout approved. Right turnout approved, 6 to Delta, 3 2. Working on that bar kills your hearing. Power. It's flying! So where is flat top? It's to the left, eh? Yeah, so... Is it that one? That's it's flat on top? It's pretty predominant. It's just flat on top. Uh, yeah. That, that right is there. flat top? I think so, yeah. Looks like it, huh? That is He's flat, flat top. More time than me, but yeah. And that is where we went in episode Back? 11. Or? Okay. Yep. Episode 11. Overlooking all of Anchorage. Okay, we're gonna have to come up with uh, some kind of decision here, whether we're gonna try to go below it or above it. I'm all about above it. I'm all about getting high and checking out how high where the tops are here, because I just don't think we're gonna find out anything. I mean, the briefer didn't know much, and uh, there weren't many pie reps out here, so best bet for us is just get up high and look at it ourselves and see what we think we can do with it. Alrighty. It's going to be interesting. Just keep climbing and shoot for one of these holes. Yeah. Um, I'm going to see just in case we want to file or talk to somebody who would call first. 
Anchorage approach on 26.4. Ah, uh, yeah. Leave that dialed up in standby. I don't know what would be scarier to ditch on the highway that looks super busy or the water or going to the trees. <laughs> but the highway certainly at this is point, not a great uh, option. Yeah, at this point, there's very few good options. Um, but that water is pretty much guaranteed to uh, kill you probably within like five minutes or less. And right here, we could probably make it to Hope. We can't go across the channel from here. There's no way. No? No. You won't glide that far? You're at uh, 2,700 feet. You got two, three miles max. The way we're loaded, the way this airplane's configured. Yeah. That's kind of helpful. Yeah, that's cool. So is the red, is that relative to our altitude? Yes, yeah, so it knows your altitude. It's saying cool. our altitude's 2730, and yeah. your altitude is showing 2770, so that's pretty darn accurate. Nice. This is probably more accurate than the altimeter. Um, oh. oh, the rainbow's really cool right now. Oh my gosh, are you going to fly through? <laughs> what if you hit it? Don't hit the rainbow. Ah! <laughs> We're going to crash into a rainbow. These are the kind of nightmares what a way I'm to talking go. about. These are your flying nightmares that you have about <laughs> crashing into rainbows? Man. Well. <laughs> it's so bright. That's a very bright rainbow. Like, super bright rainbow. <laughs> it's incredibly bright. Hopefully the camera sitting behind us picks it up. That's amazing. That's crazy! Okay, you're in control. Look, it's a whole circle. It's a circle. Oh my gosh, it's a circle. We're flying through the circle rainbow. We are flying. This must be a good omen, right? Uh, actually, I think it's a black hole and we're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, I think it's, it's the end. It's a full-on circle rainbow. I've never seen anything like it. It's so freaking cool. This rainbow... Fly through the circle. It's not like the little circles they have Look. on the, uh... Is this just an effect from the windshield? No, it's from the rain. That and we're I think seeing it's probably a also... Probably has something to do with the windshield, but not really, because the windshield's not curved that way. That's a perfect circle it's rainbow. It's incredible. It's what it is. It's the altitude of the sun. Ah. Because the sun's setting, and you're flying through the rain. It's freaking amazing, is what it is. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. All right, we flew through I the like circle it. rainbow. I it's like, like it. flying through those little pink boxes <laughs> on the uh, G1000s and stuff. I like it a lot. Oh, it's gone. Yeah. That was cool. We're full fuel. Lots of fuel, and we're finally above all this terrain. Yeah. So, what's our synthetic vision look like now? Pretty nifty. What altitude are you thinking to go to? Uh, I'm thinking 95. Sounds good. To me. 95 would be good because we can get high enough to find a hole because it'd be nice to get back down early. As soon as we can. Yeah, yeah as, as soon as we're past the Whittier. Yeah. Going to traffic, 24 uniform base, final to the east. We got a bunch of liquid water on us still right now. The outside air temp is 20, 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, we still got liquid water. It looks like there's some ice on us and some liquid water. Not ice that's concerning. Not the leading edge, just. Let the carb heat up to like 40 or 50 to see if it'll... I wonder how hot the carb will get. Uh, it doesn't... Uh, <laughs> up here. Yeah. yeah. 21 outside air temp, the carb's getting to 39, 40. 
Yeah, that's about it. That's about all it's gonna do. Yeah. Pretty good enough to melt on anything there is. Well, it would have been cool to go through the pass, but I think I'm kind of glad we skipped it. Because it is awfully layered out there. Yeah. All right, as soon as we see a hole, I'm going to be super excited. Yeah, they're tight. <laughs> it's chilly. Is the heat all the way on? No, I just... Traffic Skywagon 52063 on the south side of Portage, 15, uh, 1700 feet. Now we're going to be they're getting through. westbound. Where is he in Portage? He's on the south side of Portage. Uh, or, uh, uh what's... Underneath us, 15. Uh, right underneath us. Yeah. I just don't know how far through the pass he was. Uh, Asking if he's just Whittier bound. Portage traffic, 6 to Delta's uh, eastbound on the northern shoreline at uh, 9,000. Were you able to get through down there? You say again, I didn't hear all the words you two said. I'm just wondering if uh, we're right above you here at 9,000. I was wondering if you were able to get through Whittier down below. I wasn't trying to get to Whittier, but now that I look up in here, I would say definitely no. I'm over Portage, headed back to Anchorage. I wasn't trying to go uh, go through to Whittier. It looks it, it's not it's not doable from from here over Portage. Roger, thanks for that information. All right, it's not doable. You heard him. From the words of the wise. <laughs> yeah. Not doable. Good. Well, I'm glad we're up here then. Ish, I'll be glad. Ish, I'll be glad we're back down. <laughs> I see the mountains there, so I mean, we could always. I mean, I don't think this layer is super thick either, because I got some ground contact. It's a broken overcast layer. Yeah, I mean, what? When is... we could do go, if we have to go through it, we'll go through it at a high ish airspeed, at a high rate of descent. I don't want to stay in the clouds long, below freezing. Oh, at least we're picking up speed. <laughs> yeah, 126, 127. Ah, oh, beats a cub. Yep. Hashtag, who needs a cub? Ah, <laughs> uh, that guy that slid his off in the marsh, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> he actually just needs his cub, just, you know, 30 feet to the right. <laughs> the one thing I wish it would give me right away is... Uh, you know, when you hit emergency, I wish it would tell me my lat long to make a radio call. Because that guy right there, uh, at 22,000 feet above us, <laughs> could totally get him on guard and relay to anyone that we had a problem. Oh, okay. If yeah. we needed it, but I just wish I knew what my lat long was on this thing. Yeah. So, I'm going to say... Latitude and longitude is more important than a ground track. There we go. Now we can always make that report. Nice. If you ever have a problem, it'll just be a report. 60 degrees, 60.8 degrees north and 148.5 degrees west. All right, so we do have to get through these clouds before it gets dark. Okay. So we're over the water right now. Um, do we want to start trying to find a hole here? Okay. I mean, do you think that's a hole or do you think that's a mountain? So like I said before, not a really huge fan of the long, drawn-out episodes, you know, 30, 45 minutes long. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. Be sure to, you know, give us a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you have not already. Ring that bell so you get notified when we post part two. Part two of this episode comes out in two days. Not Tuesday. It comes out two days from now, from the time you're seeing this episode. You'll see it in two days. It comes out soon. Don't worry about it. But ring that bell next to the subscribe button. Make sure you get notified when we post our latest episodes so you turn on notifications for our channel. And it is some awesome footage going into Valdez. Got pretty interesting once we tried to find a hole to get down. Yeah, um, well, you know, aeronautical decision making, you know, whatever. What can I say? You guys will see it here in two days. And we appreciate you guys watching. We have a ton of footage coming your way flying from Anchorage down to the lower 48. And it is pretty awesome, pretty weather packed and just pretty interesting scenarios we ran into. So we will see you guys in the next episode. That is one of the brightest rainbows I've ever seen. It is quite bright. I will give you that. That's all you'll give me. <laughs> that and the tip.
Just the tip. Ow! Not even the tip. I was just double checking if you meant that tip. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>